Hello everyone and welcome to Craving Solutions. So today we had a Nitro 5 laptop and I was having an issue trying to boot from a USB flash drive. So we're just gonna go over that really quick uh, so I can help you guys out. So first off, we're just gonna turn on the system and then we're gonna press F2 to get into the BIOS. Okay, um, I set up a password here um, because that's one of the requirements to be able to get to the advanced settings of the BIOS and we're gonna go through that. I know there's many videos, but we're just gonna go uh, over some more options. So one hidden menu uh, that like almost no video showed me was when you go to the main menu here, you can actually hit Control S, Control S, uh, hold them together, and it will show up um, the, the SATA mode, SATA mode, and you could uh, change uh, if it helps uh, you in any way with, um, you could change it to basically AHCI, which is the Advanced Host Controller Interface. Um, again, so this is where you can change it. On the newer models of the Acer, it, it, it's hidden. Um, so you have to press the Control S, as I mentioned. Also, you're gonna wanna go to the security, and I believe you will not be able to change uh, here, or actually back in the main, uh, you'll have to go to the F12 right here, boot menu, and you'll have to enable it. Um, aside from that, uh, that's pretty much all you're gonna need to do. Uh, there are There is, if you ever need to disable secure boot over here, you will have to uh, set a supervisor password to enable the secure boot mode. So you have to go to the um, set super, uh, now, obviously I have one here, so I, I won't be able to just, you know, usually the enter current password will not be here. And once you're done and you no longer need this, I would highly recommend you just remove it completely. Like for me, I just made the password simply clear. Um, so C-L-E-A-R. And then what you do is you hit enter and then you leave these two other areas blank. And that's it, you're done. But what, what's gonna happen is all the options under become grayed out and you can't change any of them. Uh, however, you, you should be able to still um, have this enabled over here. You should still be able to um, see, um, actually you will not be, uh, yep, actually it's a good thing that we went did this. Uh, actually, no, you may or may not, I'm not sure, but it, 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 it is showing right now that we can change it to HSCI. Um, so you shouldn't have, so basically this shouldn't be affected. Uh, but basically this was just a quick video to show you guys how you would, uh, do this if for any reason you needed to do this. Uh, and again, uh, just, um, hidden, that hidden BIOS menu, uh, isn't something that I was seeing in any of the videos. So I just wanted to show it to everyone. And again, if you are trying to boot from a USB flash drive and it is not working, simply make sure it is formatted in FAT32, um, when you create it and then you shouldn't have any problems. Um, you'll also, um, and just to kind of quickly show this, we're gonna save, and I'm gonna hit the F12 over here as soon as it boots up, just to show you and demonstrate that if your flash drive is working properly, you will see it in the boot options. So pressing F12 here. Okay, so there you go. Now watch, um, taking out the flash drive, it disappears. Okay, and putting it back, it appears. So if it's not appearing all on its own, you don't have to reboot for it to appear or anything like that. Uh, it should just appear right away. And if it's not, it's probably just not formatted correctly. And that's prob probably why it's not working. I hope this video was helpful to many of you uh, that are watching this. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. It motivates me to do more videos. And thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.